Hi, my name is Andrew Fradges, and today we'll be continuing on with our flows. And this time we're going to be looking at a screen flow on the opportunity object. So uh, continuing with the previous theme, we're going to sort of revolve around account management and making life easier for uh, your users. But this time we're going to use a screen flow, not such the traditional sense of a screen flow. And instead we're going to invoke it uh, from button. So, for um, prerequisites for this, uh, you'll need to create a button um, and you'll need to add that on the opportunity page layout after you've activated and linked the screen, of course. So that button will, or action will link to the flow or call to the flow. One thing to remember always with screen flows is if you're launching it from an action or button, uh, you need to make sure that you, if you want the record ID that you launched from, that you use a variable that you create called record ID. Now it's very important, it needs to be of data type text and it needs to read the exact spelling and casing I have here on my screen, which is record ID, one word, capital I only. Otherwise, Salesforce isn't able to pick that up and import the record ID. So today, the flow we're gonna be working on is, and the use case is that we have account teams set up um, and we're working on an opportunity and the opportunity team is the same as the account team. So we want to have an easy way for our users, instead of inputting it manually, to copy it across for us. Now, the easiest way to do that is the way I've done it here, which is through an action that invokes a screen flow. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the opportunity record. So we've clicked this action on the opportunity and we want to make sure we get them. So we use uh, the ID field equals that record ID variable, which automatically stores it for you. And after you're done, you only want the first record because there's only one record returned and automatically store all fields. Following that, we're going to get the account records. So the details of the accounts that are related to these opportunities. And again, we do get records on the account object. Condition is ID of the account equals the opportunity from the previous get records account ID. We store all those. And finally, we're gonna get the account team. So we want the account team. And this time we'll go on the account team, get records, and we filled the account ID equals account ID from the account in the previous step. So far we've got in our opportunities, we've got in the linked account, and we've got in the linked account teams to that account. Now we're gonna use the loop variable. Now it's very important we use the loop variable. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna loop through this and for each time, I'm gonna go over here with the loop, we're using the account team collection variable from before. And we're gonna loop through from first item to last item overall. So after that, we're gonna to go to the opportunity teams. And we're going to do a get record. So what this does is making sure we're not inserting the same uh, team member again on the opportunity, which would cause an error. So make sure we're not causing an error by inserting the same uh, team member again or inserting a team member with a different role. So we check that the user ID on the opportunity team, if there is one, equals the current account uh, team member user ID. And we'll loop through every account team member matching this accordion. Then we have a decision split. And this decision element is a simple one, yes, no. And what we're doing is we're checking that the previous thing that we got, the opportunity team member from the get opportunity team is now equals false. So what we're checking is that it's not empty because we want to make sure um, if there is one, we'll go down a different path. If it is null, then we'll go down another. So on the yes path, we'll just continue through our loop and start over again. However, if we don't find a matching opportunity team for a user that is on the account team, we want to go ahead and create an opt team. So in this element here, I've mapped fields accordingly, so opportunity access level, and we're going to map that from the um, account team opportunity access level field. The opportunity ID obviously is from the opportunity we used to start this, the team member role, and we're going to grab that um, from the account team member as well. This only works if you have the same roles across account team member and opportunity team members. Otherwise, you can change it up. And user ID is equal to the account team user ID. 
And there you have it. We'll leap through that and keep going through, keep creating the team members for the opportunity based on the account team members. And it's a very simple flow, this one here. So without further ado, let's see this in action. So I've got it active. Uh, I've got my account here, uh, United All and Gas Australia. We can see that this has two team members, uh, Andrew Fredges, executive sponsor, and Michael Smith with Team Role Account Manager. So I'm going to go to a opportunity which is linked. We can see here our action is on the page, copy account teams, and we just click it through, and it's as easy as that. Your flow is finished, and you can close that. And once you're done, refresh the page. Now, you can add some custom Apex components to your flow overall. Um, it will make it a lot easier uh, when it comes to it uh, to close the refresh and go ahead and just create your records. But it is uh, a lot harder to achieve overall. So now ahead, we've got our opportunity team set up and we're all good to go. Nice and easy, cutting down the amount of time our users interact with the system. Thanks for listening, guys, and stay tuned for the next one, as always.